What's up everyone, Darkblade here returning with my gun guide series for The Last of Us, where we look at the weapons in the game's multiplayer and talk about their pros and cons. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at another large firearm, the hunting rifle. This is one out of the possible two sniper rifles in the game and makes it very deadly at long range. Anyway, let's take a look at the stats for this weapon. Firstly, the hunting rifle is available from the start of the game. It doesn't actually require anything to unlock. It costs two loadout points to equip. It has a rate of fire of two out of 10, reload speed of two out of 10, damage eight out of 10, and accuracy nine out of 10. The description for the weapon describes it as a weapon that can down in two shots with pinpoint accuracy at range. Unfortunately, the hunting rifle can only hold one round per clip, but comes with a starting ammunition count of five. Now you can equip the hunting rifle with a silencer, but to do this costs an extra two loadout points, meaning that you'll spend four loadout points in total on the hunting rifle if you were to do this. Equipping a silencer means that you won't show up on radar when firing the weapon. This is useful for the hunting rifle, as when you're sniping, it will prevent your position from being given away so easily. Now like all weapons in the game's multiplayer, you can upgrade the hunting rifle. Doing this will increase the reload speed, its accuracy, starting ammunition, reduce its recoil, rate of fire, but unfortunately it won't actually increase the clip size of the weapon meaning that you'll still only have one round per clip. However, if you upgrade the weapon a second time, it enables you to zoom in even further by pressing X while you're aiming. But anyway, like all episodes, I'm gonna be talking about the weapon in its default form. The hunting rifle seems to resemble a Winchester Model 70 rifle. Anyway, let's get into the heart of the episode and talk about the pros and cons for the hunting rifle. Its first and major pro is that it is a long-ranged gun. It's a sniper rifle able to zoom in and attack opponents from afar. This also keeps you in relative safety. Attacking opponents at long distances means that you're unlikely to receive enemy fire, unless of course the enemy is using a hunting rifle themselves. Another major pro is the weapon's bullet damage. It's very high, able to bring down someone in a single headshot or two to the chest. This is, of course, if the enemy is not actually wearing any armor. Unfortunately, the hunting rifle does come with some major cons as well. Firstly, is that it can only hold one bullet per clip before reloading. This is very annoying unless you're able to pull off headshots. And the second major con, in my opinion, is that it's very poor at close range combat. When you aim, you always scope in, and this can prove very difficult when trying to hit someone who's very close to you. At close range, it's just better to switch to your sidearm. The biggest survival skill that benefits the hunting rifle is sharpshooter. It helps with the sway of the gun when zoomed in. Anyway, let's go back and recap on the pros and cons for the hunting rifle. Firstly, it's a great long range weapon. Secondly, it has excellent bullet damage, but unfortunately it has low clip size and is poor in close range combat situations. Overall, the hunting rifle is an excellent long range weapon. Two big tips I would give for this weapon is to provide cover support for your teammates, don't leave them on their own, and be aware of your surroundings as enemies can sneak up on you, especially when you're zoomed in and not paying attention to what's behind you. With these tips in mind and a steady aim, you'll be pulling off headshots in no time. And that is why the hunting rifle gets a eight out of 10. This weapon is perfect for anyone who wants to be a sniper. Just remember to keep your distance from your opponents and use the weapon's strengths to your advantage. Anyway, I've been Darkblade bringing you my hunting rifle gun guide for the multiplayer in The Last of Us. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.